Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today uh, it's gonna be more like a tutorial video. Um, so the clutch that I have on my car, it came out of my Sephiro, my ADA Sephiro, but I had an accident with it. So, so I bought this hatch, which is the one you know it's been on the video. So uh, I use the clutch on the Sephiro, and I thought it would be the same, but uh, uh, it's too short, I guess you can say. So it doesn't fully engage uh, when you press the clutch. Like it's really hard to get on it. Uh, so I got a 246 clutch pedal. Uh, so we're gonna be swapping it. So this is gonna be more like a tutorial, I guess, so people uh, know how to do it or if they get an idea. So uh, hey, let me show you. Okay, I gotta vacuum the floor. It's dirty. Okay, so we go place the clutch pedal. You guys can see it. So there's gonna be one screw that goes all the way up there. If you guys can see it. Right there, 12 millimeter. So this clutch pedal is from a Sephiro. So it's slightly different than the 240SX. But, um, alright, to replace it, uh, there's a cutter pin. Right there. Just too bright. Right there. That one. So you, okay, so you take the cutter pin. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And you slide the pin out. That should um, unlock it or, um, you know, not be attached to the clutch master cylinder. So you take that out. You take the 12 from up there, like we said. And then. Clutch mice is still in there, so there's a 12, there's a 12 down there, and another 12 down there. You use a quarter inch ratchet with a small extension. Um, so we're gonna replace that because this is uh, I'm just replacing it just, just, just in case. Then, this is the clutch from uh, 92 to 46 and 93. I mean, as long as it's a S13 model. And this is the new uh, clutch master cylinder. So we're gonna replace in the pedal and the master cylinder. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, it fixes the issue. Like, hopefully it fixes the issue. So uh, the clutch is new, so that's not an issue. Cause I already took the trans out. And the trans is rebuilt from, uh, I gotta rebuild a freed engineering, so I have no doubts about that, so it's trans is good. Um, so last thing is the clutch pedal. Hopefully it fixes the issue. So um, yeah, let's uh, start taking things apart. So once you have taken the two screws, which is 12, this is the clutch, mas mas clutch master cylinder. <laughs> uh, so that's where the 212 go goes. Uh, so now I'm gonna take this uh, the braided line that I made, but it's a little rusted, so hopefully we can get it loose because um, I don't have another clutch line. So somehow I have to fix this so I can make it go inside into the new one. Um, Okay, so I got this suction, what do you, what would you call this, funnel, extractor, fluid extractor. So we're gonna take uh, the fluid out so we don't make a, a mess, which I feel like I'm about to make a mess. Okay, so we're gonna extract the fluid and then um, try to take this apart.
Okay, so we're able to break it loose. So this, it's moving a little bit. So I'm gonna try to like clean it, make sure the uh, swivel uh, fitting, I guess you can call it, make it move freely so, so I can tighten it. So this is the old one. I gotta take this uh, NA fitting and put it on the new one. Uh, I didn't want to spend money on the pre-made uh, line, so I made my own. And uh, I don't know if it was cheaper or not, but uh, I mean, it's I learned the way to do it, so it's a, I guess um, a good way so you know how to do it next time. So, except uh, this is a little rusted. Well, I've been having this line for a, a good minute, so I might want to replace it soon. But um, we can clean this and then uh, get the other one ready and put it on. Hopefully, uh, it will fix. <laughs> I don't want to say hopefully. Okay. Uh, I cleaned it. Uh, this is the most I can get out, but it uh, turns, so we're good on this side. Um, okay. This clutch pedal is from my 1988 Nissan Sephira. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger and longer. A lot bulkier. And this came out of a 92 hatch. Let's just say hatch. A 246 hatch. So you can see the difference. The length of it. So I'm assuming I was having an issue with the clutch um, trying to get into gear like a softer or a smooth. Because it was going like really hard. Like, like hard. I don't know how to describe it. It just it wasn't soft when you put it into gear. Uh, but you can see the difference on this one as uh, the spring is a lot bigger and on this one is smaller so this won't work so hopefully using uh, the factory clutch pedal from a 240SX uh, will be better and I feel like the length um, when you press the clutch this one has a longer shaft to push it in and then this one is a lot shorter because this uh, every time you press the clutch it will go like this and it pushes uh, this rod which it you know pushes the pressure and then the fluid goes to the clutch or the, the slave cylinder and then the clutch engages so I'm assuming that was, that was my whole entire issue with the clutch so we're gonna install this and then uh, we'll see how it goes so that's what fix the issue and this is a uh, I feel like it will fit in the skyline but I don't know let's try uh, anyway, okay. Okay, we have to move uh, the car to a different bay because uh, I can't lift it up on the other ones. This one is really tight, so, but it fits on it. I can't think this feels like extremely dirty. Look at that. Anyways, so um, it's on it now. Uh, the 12, I was able to tie the line, uh, the clutch pedal to the side. So. After putting the new clutch pedal, uh, the height of the clutch pedal, this one's now is even. On the other clutch pedal was um, there you go. On the other one was on the the one with the Sephira was like maybe up to here. So I feel like it wasn't pushing the rod enough to push the fluid all the way. But uh, the bolts are tight. The bolt on the top is tight. I don't know if you guys can see it. The cutter pin is on, and then the sliding pin is on. This is this is from the other one. Don't worry about this. One. Okay. Okay, this last thing is great. We got new fluid on. See, now you can use that four, that three brake fluid. So just make sure you use brake fluid. So now we're gonna lift it up in the air and uh, bleed the clutch with the slave cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I got my friend Lamar here. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so, okay. So to bleed the clutch, uh, for the people that don't know. Um, oh shit! Let me get a clutch. the clutch you're gonna well Lamar's gonna pump the clutch maybe play five times 
once the car's in the air, and then we're gonna open the bleeder valve from the slide cylinder. So you just gotta keep pumping the clutch until there's no more fluid, uh, no more air on the fluid or the lines. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, so once there's pressure, then uh, your clutch is pretty much good. And then all you gotta do is adjust um, the rod over there so there's no slack. Well, there's supposed to be at least, holy shit, there's supposed to be at least 14 centimeters according to the manual on Nissan. So it's supposed to be like a, uh, a tiny slack before there's pressure on it. And that's how you know the clutch pedal's adjusted to the the right specification. Okay, so Lamar's gonna pump the clutch. And uh, we're gonna get this going. Okay, so once the car is in the air, and here's the trans. Oh, by the way, this is the down, down pipe and exhaust I got a made from my freight engineering. Their welds are like amazing. I'm gonna leave that. Here, I hit a huge rock in the road like a week later after I got the exhaust done. Um, okay, so here's the trans. This is our one before. Here's a clutch slave cylinder. On other cars, it might be a different place. But if you have an R154, here's the slip cylinder. So Lamar's gonna pump the clutch and then we're gonna open the bleeder valve right there. Like once he holds the clutch on the bottom of it, like once it's on the surface for the floor, then I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna close it and he's gonna pump it again. He's gonna hold the clutch down and I'm gonna open it and then you know just keep repeating until there's uh, pressure on the on the clutch and then keep in mind. Check your your reservoir, which is up there. Make sure you don't run out of fluid, because otherwise you're gonna put um, air into the system, which is there's no point in doing it. You have to do it again from the beginning. But um, yeah, we're gonna pump it, and then uh, we'll see how the pressure goes. Okay, we already adjusted the clutch. Well, not adjusted, but we bled the system, and uh, it feels uh, feels better. Well, it feels, uh, I don't know, it just feels different. <laughs> but, uh, so, the only way to find is if I drive it and see how it feels like when I shift gears. But, uh, because before, uh, every morning I used to put it first, normal, and then when I went to second gear, it would be rough, and the gear would be like, like, it wants to grind, but it's not. But, uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, um, let me know if you have any questions, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, how to bleed it or uh, just anything. Um, so um, yeah, I mean that's all for the video, I just wanted to fix this and show you guys, I guess a small tutorial how to take the clutch and bleed the system for the ones that they don't have to do it. But uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe, um, comment, anything, uh, and thanks for watching.